Hi friends. Yesterday we started thinking about families and how even though no family is perfect, it's still sad to feel cut off or isolated or distanced from them. The Apostle Paul wrote to the church in Galatia to assure them that even though they weren't perfect, <laughs> they were never cut off from God and always and still part of God's family. The Apostle Paul was the first to bring the good news of salvation by faith in Jesus Christ to the people of Galatia. But after Paul left, others called Judaizers came teaching that faith in Jesus was only the first step of salvation. They taught that in order for salvation to be complete and effective, you had to obey the entire law of Moses. So according to them, faith initiated salvation and works completed it. When Paul heard about this teaching, he wrote to the Galatians to remind them that salvation is not by works, but by faith alone. He says that legalism is like being a slave to the law. And when you are a slave to the law, you rely on your own ability to keep the rules. In other words, your salvation is dependent upon your performance, and so you don't trust anyone else, including God. Eventually, adherence to the law replaces devotion to God. And what was intended to achieve your salvation effectively cuts you off from the source of your salvation, God. So slaves to the law find themselves alone, isolated, and cut off. The good news for the Galatians and for us is that God sent his son to buy freedom for us who were slaves to the law so that he could adopt us as his very own children. Now you are no longer a slave but God's own child. That's Galatians 4, 5, and 7. You are no longer a slave but a child. You are no longer alone, but a member of the family of God. God adopts you as his very own. A first grade teacher was discussing a picture of a family with her class. And one of the children in the picture had a different hair color from the other family members. And a little girl in the class suggested that maybe that was because the boy had been adopted. I know all about adoptions, she said, because I was adopted. And another boy in the class asked her, what does it mean that you're adopted? And she replied, it means that you grew in your mommy's heart instead of her tummy. Our adoption as daughters and sons of God begins in the heart of God. It is the result of grace the unmerited, unconditional, unlimited love of God in Jesus. God does not adopt us into his family because we are smart or beautiful or strong or talented. God embraces us as God's children simply because God loves us. God sees us differently than other people see us and maybe even differently than we see ourselves. Our Heavenly Father sees us as one of his beautiful, special, unique children. Now that doesn't mean that God ignores our imperfections or dismisses our shortcomings. Instead, it means that God knows that we are more than our failures. God sees who we can be. God sees who he calls us and empowers us to be. God's love transforms not only the way we see ourselves, but also the way that we see others. When God's love fills our heart, it spills over into our eyes so that we be can begin to see each other not as adversaries and enemies, but as brothers and sisters in the family of God. Thanks for listening. I'll see you again tomorrow.